one of the hottest acts in all of music. Would you please welcome these lovely people, the Judds. How are you? Oh, we're fantastic. We'll get we'll get over it eventually, I guess. How's everything? What is it? everything with you? Is the the, the Judd something? Judd Mobile and. You, know. you like your little Judd suit? Yes, I love your little Judd suit. <laughs> I told what her you she better shake a lot tonight. Uh, Why not? What do you have in your hair, dear? It's pink. It's uh. No, the the that yeah that this, right there. What is that? It's a uh, Bon Juddy. It's uh, my answer to uh, 
Oh, just something to do, you know, after being on the road for four weeks. I mean, if I wanted to, want to, wanted to buy one of those, what would I go in and ask for? You can't buy this. I see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, you, what she's saying, I call her my little Bon Juddy because she has manes <laughs> of hair, but she looks a little bit like Charo tonight. <laughs> Are you, do you girls play golf? Me? Either one of you. Like, what's wrong with this picture? Naomi Judd perspiring? No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What is it? Actually, the other day we were doing a show and uh, I felt a little wet stuff on my forehead and I said, well, I know, call 911 and she said, oh, mom, it's called sweat. Right. It's okay. Well, the reason I ask is I was told that you wanted to promote a golf tournament that is going to be held in Nashville uh, later this month. It is a uh, pro-am benefit and concert. Do you want to, I'll hold a sign up if you want to talk about it. Well, the reason why we're doing this is because a girl who's my age um, has been diagnosed as, as having cancer. And the fact that she's my age, you know, they say that, I mean, unless it's really happened to you, you can't relate. And she's a real good friend of ours. And we feel like this is our chance to, you know, get involved. So we're putting on a, on a concert the 29th of August here. Where will this be? It's at the Hermitage Golf Course. They actually start at one o'clock in the afternoon. Heather, by the way, Heather Farr, is one of the most promising young uh, female golfers in the world today. So this is really a tragedy. Are the leading ladies of the LPGA going to play in this golf tournament? We sure are. Billions of them, I think, are going to show up. So the golf tournament actually starts at one. Are you going to be there? No, I couldn't make it. But boy, I hope it's a real success. You're a Those golf nut, I know that. The <laughs> show will star Mel Tillis, the judge, Gary Morris, Vince Gill, Carl Perkins, and uh, George Lindsay will be the host. Goober's going to say hey to everybody. Okay. Right. And this will be on the... It's Tuesday night, uh, and tickets are ten dollars. What a deal! Okay, do, does it, do you also pay to be in the gallery to get in and watch the golfers? I think ten dollars gets everything. Okay. You you get a chance to do win the Judd Mobile and. Do you know how to play the game of golf? No. Well, she just I sings. I think that's probably. See, Glenn. Uh, Glenn happens to be. I, what are you shooting scratch now, Glenn? No, I hit the ball and scratch. I'm about a nine, I'm a nine handicap now. Well, You're also a sandbagger. I played golf one time, and when we were done, I, w I played because I like the little outfits. And when we were done, the golf I was so frustrated. I'd had a terrible score, and everybody's making fun of me. I told the little caddy, I said, honey, you must be the worst caddy in the whole world. And he said, no, ma'am, that'd be too much of a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had never seen the girls live and down at the Crosby Golf Tournament. Catherine Crosby's tournament this year, they did a show. And I didn't, I didn't even know about it. I was wandering around. They said, the judge are doing a, a private show over here. And I went in, and I just want to tell you, that was a, just darling. What darling. a great show. Do you know how intimidating to see you and Oprah Winfrey and all these faces sitting out there watching us? Mm. Yeah, you were intimidated. Glenn. She strutted like a, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always thought women glowed instead of sweat. They I, guess, I guess that's what Listen. they... Do we, don't we get the Vapors girls? Is yes, that it? Yes, Vapors too. <laughs> okay, all right, so the much The only thing the... I exercise is caution. Oh. And <gasps> only once in a while at oh, that. Oh, my. <laughs> and on that note, my friends, we will take a break. You're watching Nashville now. We'll be right back. There is a brand new show premiering on TNN this coming Monday. And as excited as we are about the show, we're even more excited about its delightful hostess. I think she's thrown more kisses to the world than Hershey's has. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Dinah Shore. I know I should go right ahead and sing, but I want to explain why I'm singing this song. I was talking to Owen Bradley just a few minutes. I dropped names too, Ralph. And um, Owen was reminding me when I first decided I was going to go to New York and try to make it on my own. <laughs> it was not easy, but this was the very first song I recorded uh, after leaving Nashville on my own. This was a song that was written by Johnny Burke, a uh, Johnny uh, Mercer, Johnny Mercer and uh, Jimmy Van Heusen. Johnny Mercer was 
from uh, Georgia, and I figured that was okay. Uh, this song reminds me of the first time I left Nashville. See if you remember. Seems that I read or somebody said that out of sight is out of mind. Maybe that's so, but I had to go and leave you behind. What did I a trip on a train and I thought about you I passed a shadowy lane and I thought about you When I pulled down the shade Then I really felt blue Tyler is a product of Winchester, Nashville, mm -hmm. Hume Fogg right. High School, Vanderbilt University, and WSM. And Hume Fogg High. Do you remember a show you did at the Opry House a few years back, I think called Dinah, Won't You Please Come Home? Oh, yeah, that was and fun. I got to interview Jack Benny on the radio when he came in to be your guest. And he, he, really, he immediately went into his Jack Benny. He said, he said, Nobody gets paid anymore. He said, <laughs> I do her show, she does my show. <laughs> Nobody gets paid anymore. Yeah, well, that, that's still true, isn't it? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I mean, I, feel, I figure you're going to do mine, so here we are. I'll be happy to. Thank you, Dan. I'm excited about seeing your show. Tell me a bit about the new show you're going to debut on TNN. Well, um, it's a conversation. It is... Uh, we say it's not an interview. Actually, it isn't, because it's an interchange, as we are having now. And we have uh, people on the show, uh, just one-on-one, -on -one, and people that have something to say. I don't think there's anybody who has ever accomplished anything uh, worthwhile 
in this world who doesn't have something to say and some story to tell, and we'll hopefully we'll get them to tell it. Now, I believe you are going to debut on the 28th. You you're, know we're going to debut on the 28th. Well, you're going to debut in our time slot, and people are wondering what's going to become of us. Am I really? Yes, you are. So we're going to move up an hour. Okay. So you'll be debuting at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. We will move to 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Now, are you going to do that all the time? Yes. No kidding. Just for you. You see, oh, is We're that stepping is, aside. I am so touched. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what we would like to do now. We would like to take a look uh, at a few of the shows. I believe we have a montage here of the show, which premieres at 8, the 28th of uh, September. I'm sorry, the 28th no, of August. August. 28th August. of August. Oh, I get It's called A Conversation right. with Dinah. Let's take a look. So. Well, I'm doing him a favor. You're doing him a favor? Because the way he plays, my God. You can't, you, 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 you're judging. He That's is not one of the, You know, he's one of the most wonderful men. <laughs> There's no rule that says just because your, your husband becomes president of the United States that you no longer have a right to express yourself exactly. or give your opinion. Exactly. Um, and I was... Uh, I was criticized for that, but I, I still believe that uh, I had my right to, to I say what so I thought. Too. How did you handle it? Did you ever develop a, a thick skin? No, you don't. Well, I, I got a little better. I got a little better, but not... <sighs> did you not read it? No, I read it. Oh. Everybody told me not to read it, but I read it. With Bert at the time, were you angry? Was it, was it a really, truly bitter divorce? Oh, no. I gave him everything he wanted. <laughs> so there was no bitterness. <laughs> but there is now. A little bit. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm telling you these confidential things, except, you know, we're, we're good. such good friends. Um, he said, uh, he asked me for a divorce on the phone. I got bitter about that. On That's the phone? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, on the phone. I said, well, listen, I can't talk right now. Nikki's trying to leave. He said, this will only take a minute. Um, that, yeah. Fifteen years of a life. Only take a minute? Yeah. I'm not kidding you. I swear, you son of a <laughs> so, uh, But I, I said, she's putting the screws to you, honey. He said, yeah, a little. So I said, bye. And the, the she was another... Another person. Another person. Yeah. Not any of your personal friends. I want that clearly understood. Not, not one of his horses. No, not, it was no. a woman. Yeah, not a but not any personal, not anybody oh, no. sitting here. Not uh, close. No. no, no, not thee. No. No. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, listen, who didn't like him? You obviously had to do a little editing on that piece. No editing at all on the no, show. I'm talking about, uh, well, ble oh, bleeping. They bleeped. Yes. Yeah, I think TNN bleeped. Yeah, you got, uh, you got to her, obviously. You touched, well, touched a nerve. She is such a genuine, straight-out, funny human being. I'm sorry you couldn't get anybody to be on the show. I know, isn't it a shame? We have been lucky so far. There are some that you will, I think you'll enjoy. Uh, and, and knock on wood, you're all cordially invited. Everybody, please. All right. Now, we need to take a break, and we'll talk more about it, okay? We're talking... Our conversation is with Dinah right here at TNN. We'll be right back. Coming up live, more on Nashville Now with Dinah Shore, the Judds, and Glenn Campbell. You're watching TNN Pass the Word. Yeah. Can we tell this on the air, or is this Oh, some... sure. That, that's a well, You caught us right in the middle of a story about, I was just telling about Jack, Jack Benny and George Burns. Jack Benny, uh, you know, when you have a dinner party, like you do here, everybody gets up and performs, or they sing, or they whatever. And uh, we, one night, it, the rumor has it, I, I wasn't invited to the party, that Jack Benny uh, and George Burns and Gracie and Mary Benny were, everybody was going to Jeanette McDonald and Jean Raymond's for dinner. And um, so while they're getting, driving over, George Burns says to Jack Benny, Jack, whatever you do, you know, Jeanette's gonna get up and sing, don't laugh. <laughs> so Jack said, I'm not gonna laugh. Why would I laugh? She sings, he said, don't laugh, Jack. 
I mean, really, honest to God, we're, we're her guests, just don't laugh, please. So, of course, she gets up and she sings, dee, 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 and Jack falls on the floor, and it was the end of the party. Uh, that's the story I wanted to get finished. <laughs> Jack Benny fell on the floor, exactly what he wasn't supposed to do, and Jeanette McDonald never knew what hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, George Burns planted the idea. Oh, constantly. He was a menace. Let me introduce the gentleman sitting next to you. He was on recently uh, when Pete Fountain was here. Right. And uh, he comes out when Lenny D is here. I'm a, I'm a lucky guy. And anyway, <laughs> I know he is a constant watcher, and he's a man that we all love very much. He's a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame and legendary record producer. And I could go on and on and eat up all the time. But ladies and gentlemen, this is Owen Bradley. Thank you. Thank you, Owen, you... Owen, I suppose you knew Dinah during the WSM days. Oh, sure. Oh, yes, yes. I knew Dinah very well. We used to yeah. work a little bit together. We've oh, sure. Five dollars a spot, I believe, Dinah. Did you get five dollars? Well, I thought... I got two dollars and fifty cents <laughs> if I were lucky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, little... Were you, were you in the WSM staff orchestra at that time? Uh, no, I was a spot worker. I think we both were spot workers. Oh yeah, we were just, I was, I was in high school and after school I'd come up and I could sing. I thought there was one program that I did, I think. Did you play this or did Beasley Smith, uh, the Dixie Flyer? No, the train, yes. I, the train, right. did you do that? I sure do. I, I, every time I hear a train whistle, I stop and uh, relax for two minutes. They were trying <laughs> to prove that the train was on time. Oh, the WSM Camera. used to broadcast on the about 4.30 in the afternoon the passing Pan -American. of the Pan American. Pan American. Yes. And I was the singer, and I would be singing, pale moon shining on the fields. And all of a sudden they'd say, here comes the train, it's exactly on time. And I kept praying that thing would, you know, not show up just <laughs> once, never finish the song. And they, when they get back to me, I'd be saying, it's sleepy time, dance. <laughs> The train was always on time. <laughs> always on time and thorough. Owen, were you with Dinah when, uh, at the time, she left Nashville and went to New York? Well, as a matter of fact, I was, we were just talking. I, I ran into Dinah, uh, down on Church Street, which is our main street. And I think I was with bass, Francis Craig's bass player. And she said uh, she was going to give it a try. She was going to go to the big city and, uh, and see what might happen. And, uh, mm. Well, things really happened, didn't it? <laughs> it, it happened really good. I, that, I, and I told Owen at the time, I said, I don't know how long it's going to last because my daddy has told me that he's going to cut off all my charge accounts, just see how I like it yeah. on that $2.50. She, she had that real, uh, that re the envy of the time, she had that real neat little, uh, I believe it was a Chevy convertible. She, that, I got that for graduating yeah, right. from high school. Did you, did you have a job <laughs> in New York when you left here? Uh, no. I just had a prayer. <laughs> prayer and a funny name, Francis Rose Shore. Eventually, you, uh, did Eddie Cantor name you Dinah Shore? No, Martin Block. The, the a orchestra. disc jockey, couldn't remember my oh, that's name. that's right. That's right. Make Believe Ballroom. Yes, okay, I remember Martin Block. On WNEW. WNEW, good for you. Okay. What we'd like to do now is show you something kind of cute, kind of nice. Somebody once said, uh, you can't go home, but in Dinah Shore's case, he was wrong because she did go home the other day, home to Winchester, Tennessee, and we want you to take a look at this as she is welcomed by the mayor. Welcome to Winchester, birthplace of Dinah Shore. Wow. Oh, wow. From the governing body of Winchester, Tennessee, proclamation, hereby proclaim that was known as First Avenue will be known as Dinah Shore Boulevard. Oh. And this... Uh, <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. Now, Dinah, your mic is open if you care to comment on... Oh. Where, which, what are we looking at here? That's the house I was born in. Early on, one frosty morning. <laughs> Is this where your father had a store on the street? Uh, it was right on first, right, th right there where the balloons are. They marked that. Isn't what what kind of store was it? It was the most it? wonderful day. Yeah. What it's kind of store right? was it? It was a general store. It I had see. Everything, everything you needed. This is the Franklin County High School Band oh, and Flag Corps. Oh, they darling. 
I, they, uh, it was a little warm. This was Monday, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, it was a little warm, and those kids were so terrific. What a thrill. I, I don't think I'll ever, <laughs> I will never recover from that. <laughs> You know, That's many quite... of us in growing up think about things we would like to do in life. And there's the sign, Welcome Home Dinah, Dinah Shore Boulevard. And the uh, mayor is Mr. Howard Hall. I know. I, I would uh, like everyone who wants to drive through the town of Winchester, use my boulevard. Got a lot of gasoline lights on it. I love it. That's cute. That's kind of nice. Oh, isn't that exciting? The, uh, the, this occurred this past Monday and was part of uh, your week here in Nashville. But this you? is quite a week. Uh, I just want to survive it. How far is, how far is Winchester from Nashville? 90 miles south of Nashville. I asked to go 30 miles to Murfreesboro, then go to Nashville. But they, they've got a, I mean, we've got a big freeway now. No, but you went to high school here. Oh, yes. We left uh, Winchester when I was about seven. Okay. We need to take a little break, my friends. We'll be right back, <clears throat> excuse me, to Nashville now, right after this. <laughs> Nashville Now is brought to you tonight by the new Coleman Electronic Ignition Lantern. You turn it on merely by turning a knob. No matches are required. Coleman, the best idea in lighting since the Dark Ages. Did, did you ever make records with Dinah Shore? Sure did. We made an album, I think it was back in the late 60s, early 70s. You produced it? Yes. How about, how about further back than that? Did you no, play on? No, I, I guess I, I guess her earlier records were made in New York. Oh, yes. I think all of them were made in New York uh, uh, or, or Hollywood or someplace like that. We've got something really special tonight when you get two great talents together on the same show. It's kind of nice when you can team them. And tonight we're going to team Glenn Campbell with Dinah Shore. They're going to sing the beautiful song, Yesterday. Here they are. Yesterday. 
Now, live from Opryland, USA, on the way, you're watching BNN Pass the Word. Let me explain, let me explain you, to our guests that we're going to let the audience quiz you, okay? And uh, we will ask you to identify yourselves and tell us where you're from, tell us your name, and then to whom you would like to direct your question. And we will start with the lady on, this, on uh, Gary's aisle there. Hi, I'm Teresa Warner from Herndon, Virginia, and my question is for the Judds. I'd like to know how well Winona gets along with Naomi. Huh? Original question. <laughs> <laughs> the truth of the matter is uh, the best now than ever. We were doing an interview this morning, and I was talking about the fact that in order to fight with my mother, I have to really, like, break out the cattle prod and provoke her a lot because she's mellowed out so much. And uh, <laughs> so it, we get along the best now than ever. Just ask uh, our band and everybody around us. Don't of course, you, don't listen to the Inquirer. Yeah, because, don't you uh, read that supermarket trash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go to the other aisle. And who do we have over there? My name's Rosie from Madison, and my question's to Wyoming. You recently got married, is that correct? Now, wait a minute, that was Wyoming? That's sort of a combination. You mean Naomi? Not Naomi. Oh. No, I'm married to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just wondering, uh, did you have a, a real big wedding, or was it a small wedding? Uh, Larry and I have been together for 10 years, and we've met a lot of people in the industry. We have a lot of friends, like Glenn here. but. Uh, Rosie, what we did was we kept it uh, just our family and friends. And I know I made a lot of enemies in the media because everybody wanted to cover it. But you know what we did? We had a big shindig, but we invited just, we wanted it to be a real worshipful, religious, personal experience. So I invited my dentist and his whole staff and all the people that work with us and uh, normal people treated them like royalty <laughs> instead. Well, that's great. Thank you. All right, let's go to the other aisle. Gary, who do you have over there? Hi, my name is Stacy Williams. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I was at the Judd's concert on Saturday, and I want to tell you, you did a great job. Uh, I wanted to know how long you rehearsed before each uh, session, before each concert. Well, we do what we call a sound check, which means we have to, um, I mean, you know about this, what you go in and you check out your... Your Mr. Your, microphone. We just basically, I think, we like to be spontaneous and just kind of go for it each night and get out there and act silly and do it right there on the spot. So we don't really rehearse. I do her hair every night. That's kind of my rehearsal. Okay. So We okay. do put together a set list, and we do have a vocal warm-up, and we have to put on our Judd suit. So it actually takes us about three hours before we run out on stage. Thank you. You were great. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for coming. Back to the other aisle. Hi, my name is Angela Davis, and I'm from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. And I was just wondering if Glenn plans on doing his own show. Right here. Uh, would you re your, your question is for Glenn Campbell. Would you repeat it, please? Um, I was just wondering if he plans on doing his own show. You plan on doing your own show? Oh, no, not really. It's, I, I'll come here and host this occasionally and do stuff like that. Your own show is a lot of work. Okay, it really you. is, and it takes a lot of your time, and it eats up a lot of the material. But. And Glenn has so much money, he does not want to do a lot of work. Right. I'm independently filthy now. So. Let's go back to the other aisle. Who do we have over here? Okay, okay hi, I'm Tiffany Smetak from Arlington, Texas. And I'd like to ask Dinah, what are your beauty secrets? You are so beautiful. Yeah. You <laughs> are just so beautiful. I, I, I have been called a lot of things, but thank you very much. Not that, thank you. Uh, my, you mean my, my beauty, beauty secrets. I, I think it's just good, clean living. Amen. And if you believe that, 
<laughs> no, you, I have fun. I just, I love what I do, whatever that is. That's great. Okay. You are a happy person, obviously. <laughs> Um, you, I'm a you, cheerful person. You radiate happiness. Thank you. Let's go to the other aisle. The, the, hi, my uh, name, hi, my name is Lorianne Upcor. I'm from Pennsylvania. Okay. Now, uh, to the judge, how long have you been doing country music? Wow. Well, professionally? Yes. Twelve years? Oh, no, professionally, just six years, honey. Wow. Okay, then. Thank you. We've All been right. together for 25, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to Gary Beatty's aisle. Hey, um, my name is Nicole Leonard, and I'm from Situate, Massachusetts, and my question is for the judge. I was wondering how they enjoyed Massachusetts, because I know they did a concert in Cohasset at the South Shore Music Center Circus, and I live next door, uh, in town next door. You know, those were some of our favorite shows of the whole summer, because it's the theater in the round, and I think Custer must be the only person who didn't enjoy playing in the round. <laughs> because <laughs> you get to, you, you actually, Juanona and I really like person-to-person uh, -person contact, and we were talking about this earlier, we'd much rather play to small crowds. Yep. They were more intimate, yeah. So we had a blast of rama get up a petition and have us back. <laughs> All right. Uh, the lady in the, uh, with the red blouse. Okay, hi. I'm Irene Crawford from Trinity, Alabama, and my question is for Glenn Campbell. You've been one of our favorite singers you for a long you, time. You Glenn. talk just like him, too. <laughs> <laughs> We're neighbors. Yeah. I just wonder, of all your great hits that you've ever recorded, what was your favorite one? Uh, I have about three or four of them, really. Southern Nights, Rhinestone Cowboy, Gentleman of Mine, Phoenix, Wichita Lineman. I'd say those are the... Yeah. They're good. Yeah. That I still Thank enjoy you. doing. All right. This lady uh, with the, uh, the black... Uh, T-shirt. Hi, my name is Jaylene Archer. I'm from Aurora, Colorado, and I have a question for you, Ralph. Right. I got a question from my whole family. Wants to know when do you sleep? Because we know you have morning shows and afternoon shows and nighttime shows, and my grandpa sits there in amazement over you. <laughs> well, actually, uh, I do a morning television show uh, from 5:30 till 7. I haven't gone back to that show recently because, I, I, as I mentioned, I had some oral surgery recently. But I normally take a nap of between 8 and 10 a.m., and then when this show is over, I, uh, uh, I sleep from about 10.30 at night till 4.30 in the morning. And any other time, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> but thank you for, for asking. Thanks. And I believe we're out of time for, for the questions. I want to ask Dinah a question. It, we, this came up, and I don't know why it came up one day. We're talking, we were talking about old Chevrolet commercials. And, we're, and what was the line after, see the USA in your Chevrolet? You used to sing it. Oh, sure. America, let's see. See the USA in your Chevrolet. America's asking you to call. Drive your Chevrolet through the U.S. I hope it's a Chevy commercial after this. America's the greatest land of all. Then we'll go, Mwah. Yeah, and then you would go to your home. Okay, <laughs> okay. all right. <laughs> On that note, we will take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> That's David Hope brought to you by the Discover Car. Before we leave you tonight, I wanted to ask Dinah Shore about some of the other upcoming guests that uh, you have prepared for your conversation with Dinah. Well, uh, we had the good fortune to tape uh, Minnie Pearl and Roy Aka together. And um, it, it is such a treat. We're going to, uh, we're going to do a show with Eddie Arnold um, this week, but I... I must tell you that uh, Roy and Minnie, they, uh, you know what a hoot they are. But on this particular show, there's something special that happened. I, it really is, uh, it's kind of exciting. Magic, then. What about the shows you did in California? Most of them you have taped in California. Oh, yes, they're done in California. Well, now we have, um, I don't know which ones you know about, but we have uh, Jack Lemon and Bob Stack and Don Meredith and uh, Rosie Clooney and uh, Betty White. There are, um, let me see, have I missed anybody? Bob Hope and uh, President Ford 
and Betty Ford uh, separately. And um, it, it, it's, a, it's a long list of very good people and the people you saw tonight. Have you, uh, have you been surprised by any of the answers? Oh, totally. You know, because uh, we don't do any pre-interviews, as you don't. And uh, things that you get to learn about the people you think you know very well uh, are remarkable. Are most of these people people you've known personally for a long time? Yes. We, it's funny. It, it, L.A. is very much like out here. We all know each other very well. And so you think you know everything there is to know about your friends. You really don't, because you talk about the surface things. But when you get to really talking and digging just a little bit, you learn very wonderful things about each other. We're talking about a conversation with Dinah, which premieres on this network on August 28th, Monday. We want you to watch. Now, I want you to watch this. Nashville Now is brought to you tonight by the new Coleman Electronic Ignition Lantern. You turn it on merely by turning a knob. No matches are required. Coleman, the best idea in lighting since the dark ages. All right, a little more Judd mania, if you will. Here again are Naomi and Winona, the Judds. Samson and Delilah have their dreams So she cut his hair and clipped his wings It don't matter how the story's told Cause love stays young, you can't go Let me tell you Till she said, Born a boy went through, and that's when he met his Waterloo. Julie, baby, and Ronnie, oh, they're in love with Stormy Show. I know they are his to me, but there ain't been nothing like you and me. Let me tell you that about love, about the moon and the stars above. Yes, what we She was a beauty queen, the prettiest thing that you ever have seen. Silent and he was a mighty wise, but she but she done caught his eye. The world would be in a dreadful fix if it wasn't for the love between cats and chicks. This world, it wouldn't amount to much without a hug, a kiss, and a tender touch. Let me tell you about love, about the moon and stars above. It's what we bought. The Judge. <laughs> Ladies, I thank you very much. Something we, something we need, Glenn, if you will, there's something we need to promote for our friend Steve oh, Warner. Right. It's in Russell Springs, Kentucky, and it's, uh, it's coming Friday night. 
You'll be there. Friday afternoon and Friday night. Yes, with Steve Warner, Russell Springs, Kentucky. It, it's, a, it's a charity that uh, he's had yes. uh, going for about three years. Yes, it is. It benefits the uh, you know handicapped uh, children up in that area. You'll be there. I'll be there with bells okay. on. Right? Tomorrow night, Lacey J. Dalton, T. Graham Brown, Steve Morse will be here. Now I'd like to call the roll. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, Miss Dinah Shore. <laughs> Welcome home, Dinah. Mr. Owen Bradley. Owen, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, guys. Thank you. Enjoy very much. And old Arkansas, Glenn Travis Campbell. Thank you, Robert. Thank you all very much. Yeah. And then there's Naomi and Winona. And I love your britches. The Judge. What do you call the Judd Band? Um, well, it depends on what state we're in. We call them uh, the Foot Soldiers of Country Music, dedicated to spreading the good news of country music to your street. Get the, you get all that on a sign, on a poster? Anyway, there we're happy to have all those people. We're out of time. Mr. Whitehurst, let's go home. Good night, everybody. You get star-studded music videos and up-to-date country information as Shelly Mangrum takes you through concert schedules, names in the news, and exciting feature stories. Don't miss Video Country, next on the Nashville Network.